Hi, I just wanted to leave you a quick message and let you know I finished grading the midterm exams. It was a problem. It's my fault. I made a terrible question. Uh, so <clears throat> I just wanted to explain really quickly. First of all, in terms of the scores, as an overall group, I was really impressed with the scores. I know there's always a range, and so some of you will be individually disappointed, I'm sure. Uh, but from my perspective, I saw a much higher ceiling than I usually see, and I didn't see the basement scores um, that I typically see, even those of you who had the lower scores, um, still higher than what oftentimes the low scores are. So a pretty good job overall, and I think that's testament to the fact that uh, this group has been attending pretty well and keeping up with the readings. So the question that I flubbed was one that was repeated from a quiz earlier, and that was the one regarding the Declaration of Independence in which states had initially voted against the Declaration of Independence and why. And so let me explain really quickly. Um, I, <laughs> I was reading too quickly. Um, and so I had conflated some information in my mind. The two states that initially voted against were South Carolina and Pennsylvania, which some of you had correctly identified, though not most of you. Um, I had in mind South Carolina and Georgia, and that's because um, South Carolina and Georgia were opposed to the anti-slavery clause that was in the original draft of the Declaration of Independence. And so I conflated that information in my mind, that the two were the same, and they weren't. Um, Pennsylvania had its own reason for not uh, voting in favor of the Declaration of Independence initially. So I just threw the whole question out. Everybody got the full four points. I was amused by some of your answers. Uh, some of you listed cities instead of states. <laughs> and several of you uh, listed states that were not part of the colonies at the time of the voting. So that was interesting. But uh, everybody got... Full credit, it was my mistake, so you got those four points at least. So again, I was pretty happy with the exams overall. Uh, I would uh, encourage you if you had a low score not to worry too much about it. I mean, obviously it's a big part of your grade, but um, any score is better than no score, so that's a good situation to be in. And I will say the final exam tends to go much better than the midterm, partly because you're familiar with the format at this point, and also partly because, well, in this particular class, uh, the content in the second half is much more manageable. So we're going to start seeing stories, you're going to start seeing poems, uh, things you're more familiar with, things you might be more interested in, uh, and quite frankly, things that give me um, a much better uh, source of material for creating good test questions. So again, enjoy your break. I'm going to update the rest of the stuff on uh, the grade book. Please remember to go in and put an electronic copy of your discussion notes in the discussion leader section, please. That makes it much easier for me to keep track of who has posted notes, and it also makes it easier for people who miss class to go back and get a copy of those notes. I also want to point out that you should be halfway through with your Instagram posts, so there should be four more coming the second half of the semester. Um, you also have a literature review assignment due the second half of the semester, I will try to find time over break to post a video uh, demonstrating how to do the research for that project, and we'll talk about it when we come back from break very briefly. So enjoy your break, and I'll see you on the other side.